All right, we're going to do project number four on ABT 140, connector contacts. So we're going to do, um, starting out with number one, we're going to work with MS connectors. MS connectors are standard aircraft connectors, mil-spec um, connectors. In this case, you'll have an MS number, and then you'll also have the Deutsch or the manufacturer number. When I use a uh, typical aviation, you'll have different connector kits. In this case, we're going to use the DMC, Daniels Manufacturing General Aviation Kit. You'll have kits for Airbus, you'll have kits for Boeing, um, and for the different aircraft. In our case with this general aviation, it's given us a broad overview of general aviation aircraft and some commercial aircraft. Anything in our case, we're going to use these MS connectors. They come in um, expensive. Um, but you also must use the right connector tools. With this connector, I'm going to remove the back shell. This here's the back shell. We'll get into that later when we talk about clamping the wire directly to the connector itself. I'm going to set the back shell to the side, and we're going to grab the connector. With the connector, we're going to want to go through and connect the proper pins. In order to do that, I'm going to show you how to actually use the guide to look up the proper crimp tools that are all in, inside the crimp kit. There's two sections here. Inside the crimp kit, to find the right strippers, the right uh, positioner, and the right uh, cr crimping head. When I go through and uh, do this, I need to, of course, get the pins. And while I sit up and look for the correct uh, information, Dudley, can you grab me? I forgot to grab the pins for the connector. They should be laying over in the yellow bins, diff various different size pins. Um, in fact, in the connector pins inside the lab there, it's right on top. All right, so I have an MS3476. Thank you. MS3476, that's where I need to start. There are directions in here on how to do insertion, removal, everything that I'm going to cover today. So you can use this to refresh your memory. Also, you have all the information on the various MS connectors. This is an MS-3476. MS-3476, I'm going to match it up. Perfect. You ignore the L12. Those are different. Uh, we'll get into the different uh, types of information they also put on these different connectors. MS-3476. And then what I want to know is what size wire am I going to use? What size pin? That information I can get off, of course, the, the wire I'm going to use, but also the pin itself. The pin itself has colors and a color code. That color code, in this case, is brown, brown, blue. If you remember from resistor color codes, brown, brown is 1, 1, 1, and then blue is 6. So I know instantaneously that, I'm, uh, uh, that I, it can get me, narrow me down on my chart here. It's a 116 pin, so it's something dash 116. I know I'm a MS3476, and then I'm going to simply go down here and look for 116. And there it is. I got 116, and then this connector, you see this 39029, that's a manufacturer number, slash 5 dash 116. The next letter here is socket. It's a socket. An S is socket, a P is for pin. This is a female or a socket. I can look here, verify that, oh yes it is, brown, brown, blue. Brown, brown, blue. Brown, brown, blue, sure enough, my color code, brown, brown, blue. 116, my, again, my VIN code. And now I can uh, go ahead and look to see what my crimp tool, the handle I need to use, the turret head, or the positioner. And then also what's important is my installation and removal tool. So it gives me all the information I need right here for this certain pin. So let's start with 116. I can actually use my wire range is 16 to 20 gauge. I'm going to use 20. And then it tells me you need uh, tool 86-2. And also, I need my, uh, gives me my positioner information on uh, my, uh, my tool code. So MHX60 for my, I'm sorry, for my tool handle, 86.2 for my positioner, and then my removal and inser insertion tool. I'm going to show you real quick my removal and insertion tool, blue and white, it gave me those colors. 
blue end, white end, and then it gives me the part number. And I can simply look at this part number and, and compare and make sure I'm using the right one. 14-03, 14-03, that's the guy I need to install and remove. It's also labeled here right on my chart. My tool handle and positioner, it said I needed this tool handle. It's in, uh, of course, position number one here. If I look in one and verify, MH860, just like it said on the chart. I can look here and see MH860, my crimping tool. Then it also said you need positioner 86-2. 86-2, if I look in the four spot, 86-2, and I verify that they didn't get out of place, 86-2 on the positioner, that is my guy. So, that is what I'm going to use to actually set up uh, my pin crimping. Before I use my pin crimping, um, before I use it, I need to make sure that it is still calibrated. To check calibration, I need to use my go, not go gauge. In the, the box, you'll have this go, not go gauge. All you simply do is follow the directions. It says, tool used for MS, uh, M255207-01, that happens to be my part number. And then it tells me what you need to uh, select. You need to uh, select for your handle in order to check it. It says use selector number eight. I'm going to use selector number eight. When I'm looking at my selector number, it's nothing more than selector number with an arrow pointing at eight. I'm going to squeeze the handle. In the red side, the no-go side, the 46 thousandths should not pass freely. I'm sure some of you animals could shove this thing right through here. You don't want to do that. You just want to feel around, make sure, and ooh, it's kind of, you know, it'll get through the center, uh, through the, the, the part of the tooth that it shouldn't go through, but it won't go past through the center. The green side should pass freely, and it does. That's your go, not go gauge. Go, not go gauge. If, obviously, if uh, that didn't work out right, you wouldn't use the crimper. So that's good. Slap it in there. Slip, oop, slip the uh, positioner in. And the positioner, since I said I'm going to use 20 gauge wire, I need to look at my selector knob and see what it should be set at. It says wire size 20 gauge, use selector number 5. I'm going to set it up for selector number 5. Again, the arrow points down at the 5, and I'm all set up. I'm set up to crimp this pin to this connector. And go.